Hi, how are you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a soft and dreamy effect to your pictures in Photoshop. So this is the before and after. You can see there that it's a really, really nice final result. So I'm going to walk you through the process. The first thing we want to do is we want to duplicate this background layer. So you can press Control, Command J, or you can just drag it down to the plus icon down the bottom here. And then we're going to change the blend mode from normal to overlay. And then from there, we want to come up to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. So what you'll notice when you're using Gaussian blur is that if you go too far, then the effect starts to disappear. And if you don't add enough, then it just looks a little bit, um, a little bit textured, a little bit rough. So you want to be within that sort of range. You need to kind of find that sweet spot where it works. So I think for me, it's around the 40 pixels, between 20 and 40 around there, I think looks pretty good. So I'm going to go somewhere around there, 34, and then select OK. Now what you can do is you can come up to the blend mode. You can either use overlay, soft light or hard light. They're going to give you different effects. Depending on your image, you'll be able to decide which one you want. So the, the soft light is obviously going to be a little bit softer and the hard light is going to be a little bit harder. The overlay is kind of a little bit in between there. So you can come to the opacity and just bring this down and increase it until you're happy. So I think around 80% looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the option key down. We're going to come down to the bottom here where the plus sign is and just click on that. And this new layer is going to come up and we want to select our blend mode from normal to overlay and then fill with overlay neutral color 50% gray and then just select OK. So this is going to enable us to do a little bit of dodge and burn. So you want to come over to your brush tool and you want to make sure the foreground color is set to white. You can press the X key to reset that. And then the flow, you want to make sure that's around 10% and uh, just make sure the hardness of the brush is set to zero. And you can use the bracket keys just to decrease or increase that brush size. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the contours. So just some of these light areas here. So what I'm doing with Dodge and Burn is Basically, we're adding contrast just to make the image just pop a little bit more. So I'm just following the natural contours of the image around here on the cheek and then up here on the nose down here. And we can also maybe pick out some areas down here just to make it look a little bit more three dimensional. So you can take your time with this, do a really good job. So I'm just going to pick out some of the areas here maybe some of the main that's up here as well. So after that, you can either press the X key or come over to the little arrows over here. And this is going to darken the areas now. So what we can do is just come over some of the dark areas. We can actually bring this flow down a little bit more to maybe about 6%. Um, we can just darken some of these areas. And this is just going to really make them highlights pop out a little bit. So up here on the eye and yeah just uh, same again we're just following the contours of all the dark areas that looks pretty good so once you've done that you can always come back to the background copy and come to the blend mode and select a different overlay so it could be soft light or hard light so after you've done a little bit of dodging and burning it's always nice just to double check make sure that you're on the right selection so I think overlay looks pretty good so you can see that was the dodge and burn there so it makes a big big difference to the overall image and it gives it a lot more depth and you can see there's the original so that's how you do it it's a quick and simple and easy process I hope you've enjoyed that I look forward to seeing your images take care and I'll see you in the next video bye bye